Hi, my name is Brooke Haggerty. Welcome to today's episode of For the Love of Food. Well, the weather's getting a little bit colder out. You know what that means, at least for me. It means pasta. I love a nice baked pasta dish, something I can dig into, nice, warm, solid comfort food. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do some nice baked rigatoni today. It's gonna have a beautiful tomato sauce that's already been simmering on my stove top. And it's gonna have some nice uh, big fat rigatonis and some Italian sausages today. We're gonna mix our Italian sausages with, um, we, we mix the Italian sausages, sweet Italian sausage and hot Italian sausage here. So it's gonna be a nice mix. We're actually gonna grill those so you get a nice, uh, nice robust flavor, additional robust flavor to add to the sauce. So what I'm gonna do is I've got some vegetable stock in here. I'm gonna add some water. This is gonna be for our pasta. We're gonna let this come up to a boil. I like to use, um, I like to use vegetable stock because I really, really like a lot of flavor in my pasta water. So I like to use a vegetable, bay, vegetable stock or chicken stock when I'm cooking pasta, rice, potatoes, even beef stock if, you know, if the recipe so calls for it. Today I'm gonna to use a little bit of vegetable stock because it's gonna go pair nicely with the tomato sauce. Now my tomato sauce that's already on the stove top, I started that about an hour and a half ago, very, very simple sauce. It has a lot of garlic, I used a wet garlic, I used uh, Vidalia onion, I put three bay leaves, a can of tomato paste and some red wine. I put all that in together and I simmered that down real good. And then I add, added one can of plain tomato sauce and three cans of crushed, I'm sorry, three cans of diced tomatoes to that. Again, it's been simmering for a couple of hours. It's right here. We're gonna let that continue to simmer as our pasta uh, water comes up to a boil. Okay, oh my goodness, that's nice. Again, my pasta water here, you know, I've got an induction cooktop, so it tends to heat up pretty quickly, so we're gonna, that's gonna be really, really nice. So I've also got my grill pan out here today. So for my grill pan, we're gonna use these Italian sausages that I talked about. Again, I've got three sweet Italian sausages here and one hot Italian sausage. We're gonna cut those down lengthwise and open them up so they cook a little bit faster on the grill top. What else we're gonna to do today is we're gonna have a nice uh, romaine salad today, with a little bit of vinaigrette that I mixed up earlier today. I'll show you, I'll tell you all about how to mix that up, keep that in your fridge for a couple of week. it's weeks. It's really, really nice, excuse me. And then I've got some great artisan bread. This is actually an olive loaf, a Greek olive loaf that I picked up at my local farmer's market from one of my favorite bakers no chemicals at, at all involved with this. Very, very excited about these, these breads. So if you can find a local artisan baker at your, your local farmer's market, by all means, make friends with them. If at your local market near you, if it's not the farmer's market, definitely get in with your local baker. We're gonna take that bread and we're actually gonna grill that up a little bit while our, our rigatoni, it go, goes down into the oven to melt. Um, final ingredient I'm gonna be using today is I'm gonna be using Parmesan cheese. Again, you know I like to use a fresh grated Parmesan cheese. It's worth it to spend a little bit extra money on that grated cheese. But let's get back to that sauce a little bit. So again, I had the onions and the garlic, a lot of garlic. I added Italian seasoning, I added lemon pepper, and I added my favorite truffle salt and some extra, a really good uh, extra virgin olive oil. I sweat down the onions and the garlic, then I added tomato paste, a little bit of red wine. Now, important to remember when you're cooking with wine, you only wanna cook with a wine that you're gonna drink. This happens to be one of my favorites. This is a nice, beautiful red Zinfandel. I cook with this a lot, I drink with this a lot. Maybe not a lot, but enough. Gives me a nice, nice wine. So, okay, I'm looking over here, so that we've got that, we had that all in there. I added the, I had the tomato paste in there, so the tomato paste got all cooked down nice and good. I added one can of plain tomato sauce and four cans of diced tomatoes. You can use crushed tomatoes in there if you want a little bit of a thinner sauce, but I really like a nice rustic sauce. So let me go ahead and take a look at that. 
and that's simmering beautifully on there. You can see the garlic in there. I also put some fresh basil in there. My beautiful fresh basil, this time of the year, I can't get it at my, my local farmer's market usually, um, or at in my own garden at home. So I go to the grocery, and the grocery usually has these living basil plants. So I just get those. They usually have them available year round. So that's really nice, very, very convenient to use. Throw that fresh basil in there, throw those bay, uh, three bay leaves in there, let that simmer down for just a couple hours. Okay, so I'm looking over here. It looks like my pasta is coming to a boil, my pasta water. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add my pasta into it. This is gonna cook for about five, uh, five to eight minutes, not really that long because it's going to be cooking in the oven again as well. So let's go ahead and get some pasta in there. Again, I'm using a nice big fat rigatoni noodle, so it's really gonna soak up all of those, um, all of the sauce. So that's gonna be really, really nice. So that's in. We're gonna bring that back up to a boil. Let me go ahead and stir that in there a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit extra virgin olive oil in there. Again, my pasta water is not just water. I used vegetable stock in there and I used, I salted that a little bit more because I did use a low sodium vegetable stock. So we're gonna let that come back up to a boil. While that comes up to a boil, we're going to keep an eye on that and then when it comes to the boil, we're gonna turn the timer on for five minutes. In the meantime, we're gonna turn our attention over here to our sausages. Again, I've got the sweet Italian sausage and the hot Italian sausage. It's gonna be a nice mix. I'm just gonna slice that down the middle and open it up, okay? So while I open these up, I'm gonna get my grill pan turned on. Again, I have an induction cooktop, so this does heat up pretty quickly. I'm gonna spray my pan. My pasta's come to a nice boil, so I'm gonna turn that down a little bit so as not to overcook it or have an overflow of water, because you never know, you don't like that. Who wants to clean up a dirty stove? I know I don't like to do that. Although I will have to tell you that this induction cooktop is very easy to clean. Okay, so I've got my Italian sausages and I'm splitting those up. I hear my grill pan start to, my grill pan is sizzling a little bit over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I think I'm gonna spray my sausages. I'm gonna put them down, skin side down. Even though there's a, there's a lot of fat in these, it never hurts, whoops, to save yourself from stickage when at all possible. Let me go ahead and get that down there. Put these sausages on. And again, we're just part cooking these sausages because they are going to cook some more when we add them to the sauce. You see the casings coming up here? That'll be real easy to pull off and add to our pasta sauce. So these are gonna cook just a couple of minutes on each side. While those are cooking, I'm going to get my area cleaned up here. And get my hands cleaned. My pasta water is cooking nicely. Rigatoni's are really popping up nice and big there. Let me grab my tongs and flip my sausage. Oh, look how brown and crispy that is already. Oh, these are beautiful. Oop. This is also a great way to cook Italian sausage if you're doing a sub, because what, what will happen is, is you get those beautiful grill marks on there. Imagine that with some peppers and some onions on there and a nice crispy sub roll with those beautiful grill marks. I think that would be beautiful. I'm gonna flip this one over on its side over there a little bit. We'll let those go. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my pasta up a little bit, my sauce up. My pasta noodles are cooking down nicely there. Okay, while those are cooking, let's talk a little bit about the salad we're gonna be making today. I'm gonna be using a nice head of romaine lettuce. This is the, a romaine heart. I'm just gonna be tossing it very gently with a beautiful vinaigrette that I did. 
All this is is dark balsamic vinegar, a little bit of white truffle oil, some Italian seasoning, some lemon pepper, and some truffle salt. So you see, throughout this meal, one thing I'm getting to is that you don't have to have a lot of ingredients to make a beautiful, tasty meal. You start with something good and you end with something good. I'm going to go ahead and turn our sausages off here because they are gorgeous. And again, they're going to cook inside of our, um, our pasta sauce. Let me go ahead and get a clean cutting board over here. Remove our sausages. which cooked up nice, nice, you see that nice grill marks again. You'll be able to taste those grill marks once we get them into the sauce as well. Even though we are taking them out of the casing, I'm gonna leave that one on there just a couple minutes so he can do a little bit more cooking. He was off to the side. I'm just gonna take my, my here I'm just gonna peel woo, my skin off. Not all of it, just whatever, you know, what's loose that's on there. That way you're not getting that little bit of stickiness on there. If it's sticking to the sausage, that's fine. You can go ahead and stay there. Again, that's the great thing about cooking. This is not, it's not brain surgery. It's really, really nice. It's not brain surgery. It's completely designed for what your tastes are. What you're tasting, your taste involves not only just taste, but texture. Remember that texture is a big part of eating. So it's, let me see what my pasta is doing here. Oh, that's doing beautifully. Yep. We'll let that go for another couple of minutes. I'm going to grab a knife over here. I'm just gonna cut my sausage up. Again, I removed some of the skin that was on there. Cut that off. And this is gonna go right into our sauce. Combination of hot Italian sausage, mild Italian sausage. Mmm, I have to have a little bite. Mmm, so good. So good. Okay, let's get that last one off there. Again, eating with your eyes first. Look at that. I mean, the beautiful grill marks on there. Absolutely fantastic. Our sauce is going nice, so these sausages will finish cooking in that sauce. They've got the nice grill flavor on them, which is going to add a nice smokiness to our very chunky and rustic tomato sauce. Switch my lid over there. Let's go ahead and put these right in. Oh, I wish you could smell my kitchen. I know I've said it before, and I probably will say it again and again. I can't wait till the world comes up with smell o vision Okay, so our Italian sausages are now in our sauce. Okay, so our pasta looks fantastic. We're going to take our pasta, we're going to use our spider, and we're going to take the pasta directly from the water into the sauce. Look at that. This way you get a little bit of the pasta water. It's, getting, it's incorporating into the sauce. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. That's incorporating into the sauce to thin it down just ever so slightly because it has been cooking down. And it also gives you nice starchiness. So it sort of holds everything together with that starchiness. Okay. So let's go ahead and, oh, we'll let those two combine. I think I'm going to take a little bit of pasta water. Let me grab a ladle here. Take a little bit of pasta water and I'm going to add it to that. Just a little bit. We're going to go ahead and we're going to switch our pans from front to back. 
put that and we're gonna let that cook for just a minute or two in there. Again, our sausages are finishing cooking in there. They're gonna be cooking down more in the oven, but this is a beautiful, beautiful sauce. What I wanna do is I wanna add a little bit of fresh Parmesan cheese to this. I'm gonna thicken the sauce up ever so slightly. So now I'm just gonna grate a little bit of fresh Parmesan right here. Right into a bowl. And we're gonna add that right into our sauce. Turn that sauce down to a nice low simmer. The cheese is just gonna add a little nuttiness to what we have, what we've got going on here. This is beautiful. Mix that right in there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my baking dish. Okay, so we're gonna I'm grab my eight by eight pan. We're gonna, we're gonna spray that with a little bit of spray on there so that way we don't get any stickage on the side. And we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna start piling our beautiful pasta mix into our eight by eight pan. This smells wonderful. It looks wonderful. I'm avoiding getting the bay leaf in there and the, uh, the, ba the full basil pieces that I had because we don't want to bake those into that. We just wanted those for the flavor. And we can go ahead and pull those out later. So let's put these in. Oh, this is a wonderful. And this, I got to tell you, it's getting heavier and heavier with every spoonful. Oh. Yum. This is going to go into the oven. I already have my broiler on. I don't have my shelf all the way up. I've got my shelf midway high because we wanted to go in there for a little bit and finish cooking, but we don't want it to brown or burn too much on there. So let me just take some Parmesan cheese again. Right on top of there. Look at that. Oh. Can never have too much cheese as far as I'm concerned. Now, if you don't want to use Parmesan cheese, you know, you can use feta cheese in this. Would be wonderful. A fresh mozzarella or even not a fresh mozzarella. A, you know, a deli style mozzarella would be lovely in there as well. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pop this into the oven into the with the broiler on. Again, I got myself mid-height. Mid we'll go ahead and let that melt down. I'm going to turn my pasta off over here. And I'm going to turn my attention now to my bread because I'm going to have my bread. I'm going to do beautiful things with this bread. I'm very excited about my grill pan. Okay, so I've got my bread. I'm going to, so I'm going to slice this down into nice thick slices and I'm going to dress it with a little bit of olive oil. I'm going to put it on my grill pan. And we're going to let that toast up really, really nice. First, we're going to put a little bit of olive oil on our grill pan. Same one we use for the Italian sausage. We're not really worrying about things being vegetarian or vegan because obviously we see what we put into our main course. Let me just drizzle a little bit of olive oil on my pieces here, nice and thick. Let them sop up together. Oh, yeah. Get those on our grill. We're going to let these get some nice grill marks on there. While our grill marks are going there, we're going to work on our salad. Our salad over here. Again, we're using a nice green salad. Beautiful head artisan head of romaine lettuce. Get myself some room here. On our artisan head of romaine lettuce, we're just going to slice it down. I'm using a serrated knife here. This is a nice crisp lettuce, as you can tell. It's going to be beautiful. A lot of times people are going to use a Caesar salad for this meal, but I feel like we've got enough weight and heaviness in it already that we really don't need to add more. So let's do a nice light dressing with this. Again, I'm going to put a little bit of truffle salt and a little bit of lemon pepper in here. I'm just going to use my fingers to toss for right now. Same time, keeping an eye on my grill over here for my bread. Oh my gosh, that looks beautiful. Oh, that's grilling up nicely. I'm going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil on the other side, just a little tiny bit because we've got enough on there. 
Okay, so back to the salad. So now I've got my lemon pepper and truffle salt with my beautiful hearts of romaine. I'm gonna add, again, some more cheese, and we can just go right over top of our lettuce with some more cheese right there. So I've got some more cheese right there. I've got my beautiful truffle oil, dark balsamic vinaigrette, Italian seasoning, lemon pepper, uh, lemon pepper and truffle salt in this nice little vinaigrette. I'm just gonna pour it right over top of our salad here. Oh, I so wish you could smell this. I wish you could smell what's coming out of the oven. I wish you could smell the grill grilling. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that beautiful bread. This is a Greek olive bread. Again, nice artisan bread that I got at my local farmer's market. Love that. I'm tossing my, tossing my salad here. So I put some salad here on a plate. Great thing about this bread too, you grill it up nicely and you can use it as your croutons on your salad if you like. Let's let that finish up there. Let's take a peek in the oven. Oh, let me make room for all of this because this is going to be a treat for everyone here. I am so excited about this. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, take a look at that. Baked rigatoni, Parmesan cheese on there. Let's put a little bit more Parmesan cheese on there. We're going to top that off on our, our hot dish over here onto our salad. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. We've got our bread grilling. Let's turn that grill off. We've got, oh, I'm so excited I can't even touch anything. Oh, look at these beautiful grill marks on this bread. Absolutely fantastic. Take my bread, let me grab a bowl. I grab a bowl. I'm gonna grab a big spoon. I'm gonna spoon my pasta right in there. My beautiful baked rigatoni, Italian sausage, nice fresh tomato sauce that took us to not a whole lot of time to make. I've got my salad here. I've got some bread. The only thing I'm missing is a fork. And now I've got a fork. Let me try my salad. Mmm. Light, refreshing, even with the, uh, the dark balsamic vinaigrette. It still gives it just that little kick, but it's like, ooh, that's not gonna, that's not gonna overwhelm me. My grilled, garlic, my grilled bread, artisan romaine bread. Again, if I wanna make a crouton, I can just throw croutons right here onto my salad. And last, but certainly not least, the star of the show today, baked rigatoni with Italian sausage. Oh. Mm. If this dish doesn't smell, spell comfort food to you, I don't know what does. My name is Brooke Haggerty. I'm the Food Chick. Thanks for joining me today.